Have you ever wondered how to adjust a contract and invoice inside of Dubzato after your services adjusted with a client? Today's video is gonna show you exactly how to do that. I'm Lauren with The Smarter Creative. I am a certified Dubzato specialist and I absolutely love to help creative small business owners streamline the behind the scenes of their business so their business can work for them and you're not stressed out all the time wondering how to do things. You can make these changes inside of your Dubzato. I know you just need to know what to do, where to go. So this video is gonna show you how to do this. Stick around to the end because I got a fun announcement coming for you. But thank you, Juliana, for asking this question of me and I hope this answers what you are working on. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna come in first to our contract. It's been signed, and this is just like a static contract. So if I hit this, I'm gonna preview it and just look at what it is. Okay, so here it would be in section two, the price point needs to change. Maybe it's not, we're not doing any patterns for them. So we would need to update section two, like whatever talks about deliverables and pricing. So now we're gonna go to forms and I'm going to scroll down and create a one-time sub-agreement. And we're gonna say agreement addendum and just put in some basic information. So I'm gonna drop in a logo, see if I have one shrink it down so I'm just gonna design so I'm literally designing it for this uh, client now the good news is once you do this you are able to save as templates so you could save it again in the future but for now this is just what we're gonna do I'm gonna do a text box and I'm currently have pulled up I don't know if you've heard of Braden Drake's contract club Braden is your like legal bestie and he is amazing and he literally gives you access to how to build contracts with all and i have this addendum opened up in my other window for like pennies it's 30 dollars for all of these contracts and it's amazing as well as what else does he have in here how to do hourly payments of course membership term he's like how to do client onboarding contract changes here and communicating them and then web agreements for the footer of your website, contract record, so many, like so many things in this goodness. I've got a affiliate link down below if you want to check it out. I use it all the time. I'm, I am so sick and grateful for him and his work. All right, so let's go ahead and drop this in and center it and I'm gonna make it bigger. I love adding spacers throughout here because it, it just gives a little bit of white space. So here we go. I'm going to copy out his information. Okay. So this agreement made as of, and then this is going to be the date. I'm gonna do a long date here between and client information. So I'm gonna do client full name, We'll do client email, client phone, and then maybe client address compact here in client. And then this is going to be your business name, business email, business phone, <laughs> same thing, but just for you. And then put in your address, company. Okay, client company will refer to the party. So original account is based on put the information here. We're gonna assume it was not. The client service condendum here modifies the, and then this is the name of the original contract. So branding contract. made between on and then the date it was signed. So now I'm going to go ahead and preview this and look at the date that they signed it, which was for 16, 24. Uh, perfect. And then insert the contracts, modification terms, 
like section, whatever it is there. And then what is the contract change the provisions as followed. And this would be the custom branding includes full logo brand guidelines. Let's go with this. Some marks, patterns, brand overview for Twenty five hundred, perfect. And then we would just adjust it here. That is our old terms. And then this one would be like no patterns for two thousand. But ideally, you would copy and paste like out of here what is needed to be like adjusted and not adjusted. State of whatever state you're in. I'm in the state of Virginia. And then whatever county you are in there. And then we would just need to add a signature spot for them. Awesome. And then probably because I need some spaces, a spacer. Obviously you can also <laughs> adjust all of your fonts and things, but what we just did here is set it up other than like the original terms and like what's changing we are going to save this and then you can also save it as a template and it creates a templated version of it. Let's save and close. I'll show you where the templates are now. So agreement addendum copy and we would just say change this. So you would be prompted original date. original contract name and go back to what it was there. But now it's like safe for you for future use. So you did only create it once for that client, but we adjusted the template of it. Okay, so if we go back to then our client project, so we would want to send the subagreement over and let them know anything about it there. And then, um, no, oh, my email's not connected. Uh, and then we would need to update their invoice. So I would probably just create a new line item and say maybe agreement adjustment, um, no patterns included in custom branding, and then say negative one. And then we did it, I did it for $500 at it. So now that it's been updated for pricing, their original payment didn't change. And then if you see, we have our plan is $170 more than the invoice total. So I'm gonna edit this. And what's happening is those are percentages instead of, so I did 33, 33, 34. But instead I just wanna do divide equally. And then this way here, it'll break down like what's left. And ultimately I like the divide equally from the get go period for them just so they can see it just will always update for it but it will you have it be like anyways you update it so it will make sure there's no errors on the payment plan if they are on a auto pay and you can tell if you click on invoice list again it will say if they're in if their auto pay is turned on It'll say it right here, auto pay optional. It'll say if it's um, activated, if you make any changements to the invoice and therefore to the payment plan, because the amounts change that are due, your client will get a automated email that says their payment plan auto pay has been stopped. That is under canned emails, edit templates, auto pay canceled. So here they get this canned email, whatever is in here for you of what the fact that it got changed. So a change to an invoice would cancel the auto pay. And that way then when it is coming due, 
I would probably let them know, send them an email, hey, next time your auto pay's been canceled, you have to manually make your next payment and then reset up auto pay moving forward. I like that Dubsado stops auto pay because when they initially agree to auto pay, they are agreeing to what's on that invoice and the due dates that are listed there so that it, so like they know, okay, I'm paying 850, or whatever the original amount was like these three times and even if you do it in their favor a change has been made to what they initially agreed on so they just have to re-sign up for auto pay if you have it set on invoice options is where you can have auto pay turn on and you can either do it at a micro level on the client page or under settings in your invoice settings you can adjust how auto pay happens but yeah that is how to update and adjust the subcontract and adjust your invoice if the agreement has just been adjusted for your client it can also in the other way they can add something on and it could go like more as well they can agree to more you may or may not have a sub agreement for that you could just adjust the billing it's up to you like what you want to adjust your sub agreement for highly encourage you actually watch Braden's contract club trainings so you can really see like when is a addendum needed when is a brand new contract needed and his team is amazing so definitely go check them out and i hope this was a helpful tutorial for you on just adjusting your invoices and creating a sub agreement. Well, amazing, you have got this. I know you can adjust that sub agreement, adjust that invoice. Again, if you want access to Braden's contract vault, grab my link down below. I get a small commission base, but like really it's just for you to actually enjoy it because it is amazing. Let me know if you want to see other tutorials like this. If you're stuck with something inside of your business, I love answering these questions. And oh, the announcement I'm going to share with you guys. I have a digital shop open on my website. So what I love to do is help you in your Dubsado and inside of your Notion for your systems to work for you. So I've got some beautiful Dubsado proposals over in my shop for you to just duplicate and use on your own. I also have some dashboards in there too, just to help you run your business better, more streamlined. Let's get our behind the scenes organized. If you need one-on-one -on -one support, if you're really overwhelmed within your Dubsado, I would love, love, love to work with you to get your Dubsado running for you. So you don't have to worry about it or have to worry about learning all these things. You have a resource that can help you with it. If that is you, go ahead and schedule a free clarity call down below so I can see how I can support you. And I will see you guys next week.